Hey there, this is the one Boom, and today we're going to be talking about the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War beta that is happening first on PlayStation 4. And compared to the last videos I have made on these subjects, and I've made videos on these subjects ever since Infinite Warfare, I am now in possession of a PlayStation 4 Pro. I absolutely love my PlayStation games, the best games I have played this year by far are Final Fantasy VII Remake, Persona 5 Royal, Spider-Man for PS4, Ghost of Tsushima, and Death Stranding. Honestly, I love my PlayStation. It was a great purchase, and I'm glad that you guys made it possible. I let you guys know that it was going to go to a PlayStation, and you guys donated anyway, knowing full well I was putting that money towards a PlayStation so I could play Final Fantasy, Spider-Man, and other games I have missed out on during this generation. So I will be getting the Cold War beta first on PS4. I'm going to be playing it there so that I can stream and make content on the beta several days, likely a week, before Xbox or PC players, so I can actually be on the forefront of the content creating cycle. So, that's something I'm going to be doing. The last time I made one of these videos, and all the times I've made them, I'm, I'm being called a PlayStation hater or an Xbox fanboy. No, it's not that at all. I am now in possession of a PlayStation 4. My controller has control freaks on it and back paddles, so it's very, very convenient for me to play a shooter on the PlayStation now. So, just know that going into this. I am not afraid to play the beta on PlayStation, but I'm afraid that betas should be the last thing that exclusivity grabs. Maybe a map or a game mode could be exclusive to PlayStation for several months or maybe half a year at most. I think that's acceptable, as long as it's a side thing. For instance, Spec Ops came to every platform with Modern Warfare, but PlayStation got survival. Is that amazing for everybody else? No, it's, it's shitty and I wish it didn't happen at all, but at least nobody had to take a massive L. And a big thing too is stop saying massive L towards Xbox players. Stop putting down PC and Xbox players because you happen to play on PlayStation. This is not good for the game. You understand, this is going to be a cross-play game that most people will be buying for multiplayer. And I know the Zombies players are already in my comment section saying, I'm only buying it for Zombies, somebody's gonna only buy it for the campaign. Multiplayer is the leading thing when it comes to Call of Duty. And that's what most people will be buying this game for. And that's where most of the playtime is going to get sunken into. We're not on closed ecosystems anymore. PC, Xbox, and PlayStation will be playing with each other. Let me give you an example here. When Modern Warfare's beta started on PlayStation 4 last year, Modern Warfare didn't have a mini-map unless somebody called in a UAV in core mode. No joke, there was no mini-map present in the top left of your screen. Before the beta came to other platforms, before Xbox and PC players got to play with that version of Modern Warfare, which I personally hated that idea of no minimap in the corner. I want to be able to see where my teammates are at a glance in core mode. If I don't want big heads up display, then I'll play realism or hardcore. So either way, even though I approve of them adding the minimap, I didn't get to even try the version that didn't have it. And I know there was an overwhelming amount of feedback, but not every platform was able to give their feedback. A massive change to Modern Warfare happened before the beta even came to Xbox and PC. So, if you're a fan of Call of Duty's multiplayer at all, and you're okay with PlayStation getting exclusivity on the beta, just know there might be a version of the game that you never get to play and you never get to give your feedback on. Betas are tech testing periods, and not every console and not every machine has the same hardware. So why give Xbox and PC less time to test it out on their machines? That's less time to find technical bugs. And do you know what else happened with Modern Warfare on Xbox, but not on PlayStation? There was a problem where Modern Warfare would crash if you were in an Xbox Live party. And that was going on for about the first month and it was directly tied to Xbox Party Chat. It was an Xbox specific issue. And I'm sure there were PC specific issues that could have been maybe ironed out had we have had as much beta testing time as PlayStation. Because crashes that happened on the Xbox beta for Modern Warfare happened into the launch of Modern Warfare. That is unacceptable. And I can't help but think that more time to test is a good thing, a universal, objective, good thing. Let's say the beta is one week earlier on PlayStation. That's an entire week that Xbox players don't get to test out their game, PC players don't get to dial in their hardware and, and check and make sure that their computer can run it. That's a whole week 
where crossplay will be disabled because there's, no, there's not going to be anybody to play with. I'm guessing the beta will run for about two weeks, a week on PlayStation, a week on Xbox, maybe five days on PlayStation, five days on Xbox, but of course that'll mean 10 days for PlayStation. This is the time where the game needs to be tested and everybody should be giving their feedback. More feedback, the better. Why limit your community this way? I know, Sony paid the big bucks, Activision needs the big bucks. I understand that. And before you say Activision doesn't need money, if a company became content with the amount of money it had, it wouldn't grow, it wouldn't make any more products. Activision can't go, oh, we're already billionaires, so fuck it, right? No, they need to keep making revenue and Sony's providing it. I understand how the business part of it works, at least very, or in a very rudimentary level, very elementary level. I get how it works. And the people that are turning this into a console war thing, where they're like, oh, fuck Xbox, or, you know, fuck the PC Master Race, we're on PlayStation, assholes. This is so, so counterproductive. PlayStation is literally playing a console war that is ceasing to exist around them. And it's embarrassing as Activision is trying to make a series that's less about what platform you're on and more about the fact that you can play with everyone, because Modern Warfare only gave PlayStation one game mode, okay, that's survival, and then added crossplay, and all content came to everyone. The console war is slowly dying. This proprietary, we have it, you don't thing is slowly dying, and Sony is clinging to it. Over this last summer, starting in May, I have become a fan of PlayStation, with further exclusives, and just for the amount of content that 400 bucks will get you when you buy a PS4 Pro. There are so many things at your fingertips when you do that. It's more than worth it if you want a nice library of amazing story games. But Call of Duty's coming back into popularity, like it or not. You can disagree with that statement all you want. It's objectively true. Call of Duty is coming back into the popular vision, the popular eye of the community, of the world. It's less of a laughing stock than it has been. It's more of what people have wanted from COD for a while and hurting people in these little ways, keeping them away from game modes, keeping them away from beta testing. It's archaic, it's embarrassing, it's hard to watch, as I'm seeing Call of Duty try to shake off shackles and be genre-defining again. And part of that philosophy of being genre-defining is not giving a shit what platform you're on. Oh my God. That's what I love. PC players went from having a tiny player base to having the ability to play with Xbox and PS4 users, and that is just huge for that platform. It's huge. Matchmaking times in Modern Warfare, unless there's that weird matchmaking glitch, really are fast as hell because it can pair me up with somebody immediately, because it has three platforms to pull from. Has your friend recently gotten to PC gaming, leaving you and your other console peasant friends behind? Fine, he can play with you guys anyway. If your friend went to PlayStation and he hates Xbox, you can play with him. Or vice versa, he went to Xbox, hates PlayStation now. You can play with him still. You can play with your friends no matter where they are. That's beautiful. This beta testing exclusivity goes entirely against that, and there could be very well features that are present in Cold War's beta at launch that you'll never get to see if you play on Xbox or PC. As a content creator, I'm excited to cover it on my PlayStation. As a as a person, as a gamer, this is shitty. If Xbox has console specific issues in its beta that go until its launch, the first thing that's gonna come out of my mouth is they probably should have beta tested it on Xbox more, you fucking dumbasses. I honestly wish Activision would stop caving to Sony. It's embarrassing, it's frustrating, and it's counter to what Activision's attempting to do. You might think Activision's always the bad guy, but I'm pretty sure they locked themselves into a contract and while they're trying to make strides in the community and they're trying to be better than they had been, I feel like this is holding them back. It's their fault for signing the contract, it's their fault, whatever, but I do think Activision renegotiated the contract pretty heavily when it came to Modern Warfare's exclusivity and post-launch content. And I have a fear that Sony is going to screw over Zombies fans. Activision and Sony are going to screw over Zombies fans by making certain maps exclusive for long periods of time, giving Zombies players on Xbox or PC less content, or the inability to solve the Easter egg alongside other people, which has already been a problem. Whether Xbox or Sony's had exclusivity, Zombies maps were kept away from people, and Zombies maps, although I appreciate them less than multiplayer maps, the thing is, is that multiplayer maps don't have complex Easter eggs and story parts. So Xbox players during like Black Ops 3, for instance, had to just 
you know, close their eyes and cover their ears and ignore the Easter egg stuff because they wanted to experience it first. So they had to wait a month. It was bad. I don't care about zombies, but for zombies players, that was terrible. And I feel like because Sony got a part of Spec Ops, I feel like Sony's going to get a part of zombies. And that's what's going to satiate them so that multiplayer can be this sort of coherent thing across all platforms. But we'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. That is purely speculation. What isn't speculation is that beta testing should be available to all platforms at the same time. It is literally testing. It is a part of the development cycle. Yes, it's mostly for marketing, but key gameplay things can be changed during betas. And it's not right for a different platform to get seven, five extra days to test it out before other people. That's bullshit, and everybody listening to this video knows it. Whether you want to posture in the comment section about how cool your hunk of plastic is, or how amazing your computer is, or how you don't care because Xbox has Game Pass, posture all you want. It's a bad thing. I don't really give a shit about your loyalty to brands. The truth is, Sony is fighting a console war. Activision is fueling this little console war, and it's not even a war that's actually going on. Either way, thank you guys for watching this video. Sorry if it got a little preachy or a little cringy, but I, I'm just irritated about this. I feel like it's just a poor move on Activision's part and Sony's part. It's just a shitty thing to do. See you when I see you guys. Goodbye.